Welcome back. Ireland boasts a host of dynamic female entrepreneurs. Our final pairing entering the den tonight are no exception. They believe Irish women deserve a higher standard when it comes to their choice of magazine. So important. Yeah. Well, we describe Magpie as a magazine for the thinking woman. It's for a woman of substance and style. And I guess um, what we were really trying to do was to bring standards of journalism up in women's publishing. And particularly in women's magazines, there's so much, you know, body shaming. And some of them, not saying all of them, there's a bit of an intellectual deficit that we'd like to correct. The most important thing is for, to get them to actually stop and read it. Yeah, it could go they through, need to look through so yeah. quickly. And when we're selling high quality content, mm. they need to pause and read it. It's all about female mm. empowerment. What do you think, no Deirdre? No celebrity gossip. No. No faddy diet. Absolutely not. The magpie woman has been through the recession. She's, you know, probably had a tough few years and she has just a different perspective and no one is talking to her. So we believe that the time is right for magpie. Hello, dragons. My name is Georgina Heffernan and this is my business partner, Deirdre Fitzpatrick. And we are delighted to present to you Magpie, a glossy new magazine with a fresh new vision. We are looking for 75,000 um, investment for a 10% equity in this startup business. From the unashamedly feminine design to the standout title, Magpie immediately stands out from its contemporaries. Moving away from the dumbing down, it's prevalent in so many fashion and lifestyle magazines. Magpie is for the thinking woman. It is for a woman with substance and style. And now I'll get um, Deirdre to hand out a few issues of Magpie. So you can just take a little look at what's inside. Thank you. And, and then we'll be free to answer questions. Aren't you getting into something like print and publishing at the exact time when the industry's headed for doom? Especially in fashion, all of the action now is on YouTube and bloggers and so on, as opposed to in traditional publishing. It's becoming increasingly difficult to monetize digital editions. People are so used to getting People, stuff online for everything's free. Everything's free. How do you monetize it? Yeah, it's becoming increasingly difficult. So, I mean, we have some statistics about magazines. Well, put it this way. The ladies might know this. net a -Porte is one of my favorite shopping sites. They have a gorgeous online publication called The Edit, but they've moved from print or from digital and now they've launched a print edition. Now, if a company that is that big is moving to print, there's something in it. The evidence is that people, you know, look um, at digital uh, devices and digital, you know, websites to basically get short form content. People have a very intimate relationship with their magazines. Um, it's, you, you have time away from the screen. It's me time. Just talk to me about your com com competitive set and you know, how, how big a market share are you looking for? So we'd be looking at positioning ourselves within the top five of the, the main women's interests and fashion magazines. Now, just to kind of give you just a little bit about my background and how it fits into the whole story. Um, I've been working in media for 14 years as a journalist. I've also been the features editor of a national newspaper for over a five year period. Uh, just stop you there, because the question I asked you was how many <laughs> magazines were sold a year? Uh, fashion magazines were sold a year, and what are the trends? What are the trends? So, like, where, is it has it gone down or is it going up? Probably went on a no, bit no, of a tangent there. Yeah. Yeah. So nervous. much to fit in. <laughs> yeah. So the trends um, for the, magazines Ireland recently are that they're on the upswing. Yeah, especially in Ireland, like Irish people like to buy Irish titles, which is really important, um, especially for an Irish market. And like I said, 2.5 million Irish people bought a magazine in the last month alone. The recent ABC figures... Really, I, I don't want to hog the question, but yeah. do you know how many magazine, fashion magazines were sold? Um, I don't have that exact figure for you. Okay. Is, there, is this a free magazine? It will be retailed at 390. Um, so we're entering the market at the price point that we, we want to stay at. We're entering the market at the higher end of the market. Okay. I'm a big negotiator. How I plan to run this business is on Ryanair, um, using that as a model. We want to strip away 
all of the superfluous fluff that used to go you know, with the perception of women's fashion magazines. You know, we want to run this as a real lean machine. We believe that our reader is the post-Celtic Tiger woman. She's many of the people that I know. She's lots of my friends and she's interested in things like um, you know, global warming and um, just a whole mix of things that the current magazines aren't addressing. With my background in publishing, I have a nose for a story. I get the zeitgeist. And I really believe that I'm onto something here. People that I've shown it to in the industry, they're excited about it. Uh, Georgina, you gave us uh, your work experience in the area, all of it very relevant and on, on point. Deirdre, tell us about your background and what you bring to this partnership. Well, I actually designed the magazine. I studied communications and media in DCU. And I started working for Hot Press at the age of 18, so I was kind of thrown into the publishing world. We and actually then... came up with the vision for the magazine together. I've been in the industry a Georgina, long time. Georgina, just let Deirdre talk. Oh, I do apologise. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. 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 No, 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 Georgina, you're brilliant. But I just really, because design is very important. Deirdre, will you be glossy or staying matte? Staying matte. Staying, why? I, 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 just t tell me why. Glossy, from a design perspective, glossy is cheap and it's it's just so Celtic Tiger. Celtic Tiger. <laughs> we want something different. We want it to stand out in the shelves. Every other magazine is glossy. We want to, are we want you to do going glossy? Uh, sorry, are you going matte on interior as well as on the um, The interior pages are uncoated. Right, so you're staying with that with that slightly yeah. flat. Yes. Even though Vogue, which is not cheap and nasty, uh, and Harper's Bazaar and all of those True. very high-end uh, publications are going maybe matte on the front, but, but certainly glossy on the inside. That's something that I suppose we can revisit. Very hard now, to showcase a, a beautiful product on a matte finish unless you're going for an artisan look and you're not in the artisan space. Okay. We're flexible in terms, yeah, you know, it's, it's all it's about getting the make. advertisers in. Yeah. So I mean, this is why we need a dragon to come on board. Yeah. Well. And have you any sense of the age group? You know, are you going to target a particular group? Or? Um, yes, uh, our reader is ABC1, age 20 to 44, and they live in an urban area. And, the, and they're educated. They have um, disposable income, you know, to, to buy glossy magazines, to uh, go to the theatre, to you know, as I say, enjoy the finer things in life. Okay. Georgina and Deirdre have the experience and the drive, but with conflicting ideas on print finishes and not knowing the size of their potential market, is Magpie magazine what Irish women and the dragons really want? I think you girls have drive. I definitely think you know your space, but I would just want to give you one word of warning, Georgina. Yeah. Don't always base all your own opinions on your own. Okay. Because that's not the whole market. It's a chunk of it, but it's not all of it. If you'd come in here and said something to me like, there are half a dozen of the big cosmetic companies who have said, if you achieve certain numbers in certain times, that we will give you 12 month um, mm. contracts. If you had something substantial, but we're, we're still in that early stage with you. So for that reason, I'm out. All right, thank you. Thank Thanks you for your much. time. I've been very complimentary of the good work you've done so far, but I'd be dishonest if I didn't say I'm almost annoyed with uh, this. If uh, I was uh, producing a teaser magazine, uh, the most valuable piece of real estate is that back page mm. and I would have preferred for when you're going around talking to advertising agencies imagine your brand here okay. at X you know uh, yeah. so look I, I know you were wanting to promote your own uh, brand uh, your own brand yeah. and I understand that but you know that's almost naive if you don't okay, mind me saying. Okay opportunity course, I take that on board. Yeah yeah. yeah. Um. Okay so publishing um uh, is, is littered with enormous personalities and <laughs> egos. But working with a dragon uh, will require an element of, of listening mm -hmm. as, as well as doing. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see that as something you can do? Wow, we would be so grateful because, you know, we have the idea, we have the contacts. Just to have somebody that will help take us to that level would be just incredible. Are the four remaining dragons prepared to take Magpie magazine to the next level? Two journalists I love to read.
have just left the industry now to go to write content for technology companies. They've opted out of, of journalism. So I think you have found a gap in the market. I'm just not sure there's a market in the gap. So for that reason, I'm out. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. I suppose I just can't get my head around that print is, is, is going to continue to grow. Uh, that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. 75K. Have you had funding from any other sources? No. No. You don't? No. So it's all riding on a dragon's investment? Mm. Yes. With no confidence in the future growth of the magazine industry, Barry and Eamon are out. Does Alison or Gavin believe an investment of €75,000 for a 10% share in an unpublished magazine is worth the risk? Ladies, I'm going to make you an offer. It's primarily based on the fact that I really believe the space you're aiming at is there. I am concerned that your only source of funding is from One Dragon, so uh, I think it would be necessary to put a package together to go out and seek some additional funding too. Okay. Uh, and that would be something I could help you with. What I'd like to do is offer you the full amount, 75,000, but for that, I would require 30% of the company. Great. Thank you for your offer. Thank you. Georgina and Deirdre's CVs have impressed Gavin from the beginning. Is he about to outplay Alison's offer? This is what I love about the den. You know, it, you have to make instant decisions. Um, <laughs> All of this baloney you hear about everything is moved online. What I love about this idea, it's a counterplay. Yeah. Right? And the odd counterplay will succeed. And hearing you two, I think you might well succeed, but it's a very tough yeah. battle and long road ahead of you. Um, I am actually actively considering at the moment um, a similar publishing venture, but aimed at the mail market, which is a counterplay as well. So this is why. You know, this is right up my street. Look, if Alison had made an offer, I was going, you know, I, I wouldn't have been as generous, so I can't top that. So really, genuinely, reluctantly, uh, I, I'm going to bow out and you're going to have to decide, uh, are you going to accept that very good offer? Okay. Can we take a few minutes? Take some time to think about it. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you, Dragons. Alison strongly believes Magpie magazine is what Irish women want but she wants a 30% shareholding. Will this duo part with 20% more of their company to enter the world of publishing? Thank you, Dragons. We would be absolutely thrilled to accept your offer. Oh, Thank well, you so yeah. much. Congratulations. We're going to have fun Thank with Thank you this. so much. Thank you. Absolutely thrilled. All right, well done. Thank Thanks, you, Dragons. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You completely outmaneuvered me. You know, I just uh, sort of, uh, you know, why did you pick the 30%? Because I, I was going I 40, but did you, did I can you read your mind, you must have been able to read my it's, mind. It's scary. Uh, Alison was sort of saying uh, at one stage about your management style and whether you would listen or not. How did you interpret all that? Hmm. <laughs> but to be honest, I think if you're going to be the editor of a magazine, that you need to have a very strong position and you also need to have great self-belief. That goes with the territory, but also I think that you need to be very open to, you know, what your dragon has to offer you. And we want to learn from her and... Yeah, we're yeah. so lucky. <laughs>